hello traders it's Samurai trader here welcome to this training session in today's session we're going to be looking at day trading the NQ futures contract tick charts versus range charts we now have hundreds of members around the world that trade the NQ using tick charts and quite often I'll receive emails just about how whippy the tick chart can be particularly in times of extreme volatility as we've witnessed in the last week so in today's session we're going to be looking at range charts and how we can smooth price action and actually make entries easier to recognize of course as with all of my recordings we need to understand the risk when it comes to trading if you're not familiar with my videos or if you haven't read this risk disclaimer for a period of time please do we also are about to go after I go through a couple more slides go to some charts and I'll give you some chart examples so bottom right hand corner you can click on that and go to full screen it may make it a little easier to view the charts so as we get into this let's consider this for a moment those that may be watching this recording that are not familiar with the Nasdaq uh, the e mini the symbol of course is NQ it trades in uh, 0.25 percent increments or five dollars a tick it's twenty dollars a point now it's a great market to trade uh, you've got very very good volume and I like to trade the 133 tick chart for day trading the NQ during the New York hours during the after hour session the Globex session you really need to drop that time frame right down because you just don't have anywhere near the volume and in fact usually during the Globex session the YM uh, exceeds the NQ as far as volume goes which is another excellent market to trade so considering the NQ how can we smooth price action because it can be very whippy very rangy at times you can have the candles or, or price bars really very very different sizes etc well one of the solutions may be for you to consider range charts I really like range charts because they can really smooth price action now with range charts as with tick charts and any time frame if you like using time frames you need to consider stops and the speed of a market of course the lower the time period for an example uh, uh, one range will each candle will form a lot quicker than say a two range so also at times one range is just not tradable in my opinion that is the market each candle is forming so quickly it makes it very very uh, difficult to enter the market and also identify trade setups so I really like the 1.5 range or the six so 1.5 range as a reminder is six ticks okay so each candle is worth $30 and we'll have a look at this because we need to consider the size of candles also uh, compared to your stops and the reason being as all of my traders are aware I like to put my stop two ticks above or below the closest swing high or swing low and we'll look at that in a moment so typically if we were to look at say a 1.5 range uh, two candles uh, might be I might uh, require two candles to give me my entry then uh, my stop will be two ticks below there that's seventy dollars and maybe even one tick higher for my entry to be stopped into a trade so it might be a seventy five dollar stop so that's why you need to really consider the size of those candles uh, if you are using a flexible stop like that you may have a decide to have a fixed stop by the way where um, it really doesn't matter that is you might um, say have a minimum stop on the or a maximum stop I should say of say eight ticks or ten ticks and and by the way I would usually recommend a minimum stop if you're day trading on the NQ of at least 10 ticks I just tend to find that works really well now if we consider tick charts um, they're very very popular and of course we have thousands of day traders around the world here in this particular case I've got on the chart there 144 tick chart as an example I like as I mentioned earlier on the NQ for 133 so one candle or a bar will print after every 144 transactions uh, that is trades that take place irrespective of how many contracts may be traded within that 144 transactions now 
another uh, type of candle I really like particularly on the ES most of my traders are aware I really like volume charts so each new bar or candle will plot will form after 1,000 contracts have been traded now if we consider range bars or candles which is what we're talking about today that is a new candle will plot once price action has exceeded a user's predefined price or tick range an example might be a tick range in this particular case on the NQ which we're about to have a look at now volume charts rely only on volume range bar charts rely only on price action and that is why if you're a price action trader you may really like trading with range charts now all of this of course and a whole lot more is all covered in the day traders fast track program so the setups I'm about to talk to you about particularly for my members uh, are all included in the day traders fast track program so please go to my website after the recording and request more information on my course and also my free ebook and of course please make sure you subscribe to my channel so let's now go and have a look at the charts themselves now what I have here traders in front of you is on the left a 133 tick chart on the NQ and on the right we have a two range chart so what we've got uh, here and we can just see this light black line here and let me just go back one candle you can see this white paint bar just there the candle right next door is this action right here so if you then start to take notice of the fall in the market this area here just look how congested that is and then on the right just notice as I scroll across over here notice how smooth that is there compared to this which is very very whippy so as with always traders I recommend that you always go back and do your own testing uh, when you're looking at any trading model any recommendation go and have a look at this yourself but as we go along I think you'll find there's real merits in trading a smoother chart with the NQ something else you'll also notice perhaps it's not a great example here but you'll quite often notice here that your uh, if you've got a, a very short term MACD for an example the action on it usually is a lot smoother when you're using a range bar chart because price action has been smoothed out there as well so let me just expand this chart here now what we can see here is it it almost looks very very messy doesn't it and the time factor here over on the left here this is 1124 in the morning and over here this is our US time this is 123 so we can just see that time range here but it's also very very whippy now for my members we can see up here we had of course our classic t20 we've got a, a t3 there we've got a nice t3 up here we've got a t3 bottomed out for a nice t7 a double bottom and this is a classic example by the way traders where uh, I always like to have my entry or sorry my stop two ticks below the closest swing low or high so my stop would be two ticks below there you're actually kept in that trade that tick down one tick lower than here so you're kept safe in the trade if you were long there and my stop would be two ticks above there if I'd have shorted here likewise if I'd have gone long here my stop would have been two ticks there for our t20 up here my stop would have been two ticks above there so we can just see how price action is really it, it's very messy and this can be very frustrating for traders and if you look at the large candles it can mean if you are going to place your stop above or below these pivot points these swing highs or swing lows you can have quite a variance in the stop if you do want to do that unless you're using a fixed stop concept now if we now go over and have a look at a comparison to a range chart and what I will do traders just make sure that we're looking at exactly the same area so let me now go and have a look at this here Let's expand this out so we can just see here where the NQ is very very whippy now as much as we go into a period of consolidation here but you can just see it's very very smooth price action here you've got a t20 you've got a t20 uh, this is of course as with all trading when we see our moving averages 
uh, going sideways here horizontally even though they're slightly rising as you can see there you can see we still an uptrend and of course our longer term our 200 is telling us that really we should be considering long trades only so you've got an entry here you've got another entry there you've got one here you've got one here you've got one there but just notice in comparison to the NQ here it's just a very very different looking chart now time wise here so we're looking at one um, what, are, what are we here 101 here to uh, let's just do here okay and just look at that there but that price action there whoops uh, and this is <laughs> this is a difference when you've got different types of charts of course it can vary uh, the time period that you, you're trading or how much you get on the chart the amount of candles so if we go to the same area here let me just get this right for you here okay so there is right there now so we can see this nice little double bottom which is very very tidy it's what we call a t7 uh, it's very messy in comparison when you look at that area here compared to this area now let's go and drop the time frame and let's go and have a look at a one range now one range as a reminder is four ticks or one point so we just put one in there we're looking two weeks back let me just uh, get that up here now one of the things you may you or you can also do is to do what I've got here is have your tick and a range chart uh, on the same window or like myself if I have multiple screens you can have them on different screens but let's just go to this exact same price action over here so this is each one of these is worth $20 of course and so if we look at this right here so we can see that point there is this point here okay so the one range and let me just go here we actually have uh, our traders will know we've actually got uh, an 89b right here uh, and you can see here you're going to be in a lot earlier now if you're after a 10 tick target I liked by the way to go for 12 to 14 ticks on the NQ uh, there you've got um, uh, 4 8 10 you've got about 11 ticks there you still would have wanted to stay in that would, would have given you about 12 ticks from there to there in this move now if you're a true scalper you can see here with these uh, trades here you've got uh, a nice scalp there a nice scalp there a nice nice scalp there let's just expand this out uh, you've got a t20 this is that danger zone as always traders you want to be more cautious of of course uh, the NQ though usually when you get some trends you get some really nice trends so you've got a t20 you've got a 34b of course uh, you've got there a, a t20 again 34b so there's some great trades there the problem is is the time in trading these so if we look at this here right now this isn't well this is uh uh, what do we got uh, 146 to 236 this is about an hour's price action in that time frame so let's just go and have a look at one more here if we go back let's have a look at the 1.5 which is a whoops uh, 1.5 range which means that each candle is worth $30 so as far as annual stops go if we look then here and this is uh let's just have a look here and this is really interesting traders if you look at this price action right here now you can see the 133 look at the size of these candles uh, and what I am going to do I'm going to change the time frame because this is the end of a trading day so I don't like to trade the uh, last hour you can be all over the place so let's just go back to another time period which is just uh, going to make it more realistic in trading let's just go back here and let's look at this here okay so over here of course we've got our, uh, our $30 candles if we can call them $30 for a moment and you can just see how much smoother you are on a range chart and also notice here that you're if, if you're particularly trading with a short-term MACD uh, it's how much smoother it is in comparison it's because of the candle formations of course so with the strategies of the day traders fast track program uh, of course having candles like this uh, this is a, a nice t3 here's your entry right there 
okay so let me just mark this up here and have a look at on the range charts okay you can just see how much messier from there okay there to here comparison in comparison to a tick chart so traders um, go back and, and do some testing and, and by the way then you'll stop if you're entering this one uh, because your entry isn't clearly signaled here on this t3 to we close up above here right there your stop there's probably going to be around the 65 70 dollar mark if you take my recommendation of two ticks below swing high swing low there of course you have a, another nice little uh, t1 entry so traders uh, hopefully this is beneficial so uh, I really believe that range charts have uh, some real merits in trading the NQ once again please uh, subscribe to my channel drop me an email if you've got any questions to find out more about the day traders fast track program please go to my website uh, even better still invest $197 and purchase the most comprehensive day traders program that I know of thank you traders